and now she's just a photo that he talks to and pretends that she talks back to him. Well, that's completely normal, I understand that. Uh, where the hell might we be going? Glass bottle, not gonna pick up a hammer. Well, I think a hammer would be a very viable weapon here. What does that say? The Scottish play. Use the lever, we, I guess we can climb up here. Check out what's hiding up in the rafters. Hopefully find some super amazing chests. Yes, good, what are we gonna have in here? Some sort of sniper rifle, I'm hoping. Uh, a dig spot and some darts. All right, well, we're not gonna have a sniper rifle. I'm pretty sure of that much. Um, is that all that there is in here? One little climb spot, some open, some closed doors. All right, let's pull the lever. Go, 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 go. All right, we did it. So what part of the map are we in now? Oh, we've definitely made some progress here. We've got a bunch of bees over there. Man, I need to find somewhere <laughs> Cross the Inkerman Bridge and meet Ollie. So that's south. Stranger in a strange land, find the hatch. All right, that's down this way. All right, let's go try and find the hatch. So we can find the hatch, then we can find a place that we can safe travel to, fast travel to. Oh God, there's some sort of thing going on in there. Got a giant camp full of people. All right, well, I'm not ready for that yet. I need to go and get safe and ideally oh sleep God, until daytime. some poor woman. Where? I'll be a real hero and rescue her. What back there? Killed. I feel like we would get ourselves killed. Get rid of the kidnappers. There's only four of them. All right, you know what? If we are going to equip this metal bar, this lead pipe, I reckon we can easily put down some guys. Uh, right, let's first of all go to the crafting menu and make some healing balm. Okay, seems good to me. Caltrops, what are these? Hurts people's feet and slows them down. Sure, let's make a couple of them just for fun. And what do we got over here? Ollie says that the only way onto the bridge is from Appleholm Street Station in the Parade District, which means I've got to get to Appleholm first, which means I've got to get to Maidenholm. Did I mention Ollie's a loony now? Keeps talking to some girl who isn't there, and he's sort of got a shrine, a shrine to her. Margaret, that's who he talks to. Sally and Percy and I went to school with the Margaret, what's her name, didn't we? And she didn't get on the train, did she? Something terrible happened, and no one would talk about it. Ollie's in a, Ollie is very cheery about us going to rob the Victorial, Victory Memorial Camp, or rather, him robbing it while his old army mates chase me around. Sounds like a lovely way to get bayoneted. I doubt very much anyone's cleaned up the barbed wire. Oh, and the tanks. Let us not forget the tanks. On the other hand, he's promised to help me get into the Britannia Bridge, so I might have to take him up on his offer. Can I trust him? Of course not. Did I mention he's a loony? On the other hand, what else have I got? Exactly, Arthur. All right. Warning, you are trespassing. All right, all right. Let's see. That worked. Somehow I managed to sneak behind him there. Oh. Baby a double? Just relax. Don't just, question it. Yeah, just go to sleep, friend. Just go to sleep. Just let it. Hello? Oh my god, this guy's an idiot. What the hell? He didn't see me? Good night. And where might the fourth one be? I hear footsteps. Nice, keep going. Yep, go, 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 go. Do your lookout thing. Ah, Nigel Frampton. I'm afraid that you guys have been doing some naughty stuff. Get the, get the key. Okay, right. Look for a key. Oh, kitchen key steel. I've got no idea who that was, but I just grabbed it. And we got a lock. Talk to the chef. Sweet. All right, crack this crap open, Arthur. Pocket expansion kit. Now that is something that I'm interested in. Uh, that goes into here. Use that. And increases the amount that we can carry by two. And I'll stake some stew while I'm here. Alright, any other goods here? Nope. Okay, so. Hold E, pick lock. Easy. Easy. I kind of do wish that there was a little bit of a lock picking mechanism in this game. Like a little challenge, like a little mini game. I do really enjoy that. I'm feeling a little bit robbed that we don't have one, but I'll deal with it. Increases damage dealt by thrown weapons by a small amount. Okay. Okay, all the stuff. Ah, hello. Hello, Nigel Lawson. How do you do? Thank you. 
thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Come back anytime. I'll make you something fantastic. My savior. Here, I've been cooking. Taste this. What do you think? Yummy, isn't it? Have you poisoned it? Are there pubes in it? Well, is it safe to eat? I'll drop when I'm in the neighborhood. Stew would be nice, even if it is made out of fungus and leaves. Mmm. Empty till... Turn that off. Actually, keep it on. Okay, so you've got nothing else to say, Nigel? I suppose you gave me some stew. Let's eat that up. Rancid stew? No, let's drop that. And eat real stew. Boom. And it still didn't fix my hunger. Holy shit, six talent points. Okay, okay, okay. Right, so what I want to do here. Iron Fist. Unarmed hits the head of a chance to stagger the enemy. With a little preparation, you can give someone a real wallop. I want that. Bye. Yes, and then what do we got over here? That costs five. Talking to people makes you them trust you more. Heal better. That's cost five. Hmm. You are healthier. Alright, I'll get more health. Glorious. What the hell is this song? It's horrible. Yeah, I never want to hear that again. Alright, let's leave there. Okay, so, alright, that's one person dealt with. Uh, and we need to go south. Off we go, Arthur. Man, the night times, I do apologize. The night times do seem to really tank my frame rate. What are these? Yeah, it goes from a massive, lovely 60 frames per second down to not 60. We've got a new piece of lore. I'm trying to read all of this. October 5th. Dear Mr. Byron, Dr. Byron, I spotted what seems to be a case of full-blown plague in the Garden District. Of course, my colleagues and I immediately resolved the matter. I don't suppose anyone could have got across the Ludholm's Bridge? It could be well to check. Assuming that Vector is still shut off, then we must consider the plague to be a possibly waterborne. In that case, dumping the bodies of the victims in the river needs to cease forthwith, don't you think? It's bad enough that we or what already gets through the filters at the water plant. Hopefully we've nipped this outbreak in the bud. If not, we'll need to equip the constables with gas masks on eel pie as well. Yours very truly, John Keats. Okay, I want to knock this guy out. Let's sneak up behind him. They don't seem to be very observant at all, these NPCs. <gasps> sorry, Telfrin Honeybum. Honeybun. I'm sorry, mate, you're dead. They've all got Jimmy bars in though, which is kind of nice. Okay, so we're we going in here. Yeah, this is apparently where I'm going to. Alright, should I kill this guy? I feel like the takedown is not lethal. Which means they're probably going to get back up afterwards. I feel like maybe just killing them would be the way to go. <coughs> go to sleep, Ryan. All right, these guys don't seem to have any good loot on them, so let's just leave them alone. Uh, let's go check this out. It's my potential new home, right? Jimmy Bar, pick up. Force open crates. Yeah! Another dig spot. Hell yeah. All right, find a way in. Well, I'm going to guess that that window... It's going to do me nicely. Let's just do a little lap of the perimeter here. Man, the music is fucking weird. What we got here? We got a pond. Oh, we got a memory. Yes, give me the memory. Uncle Henry. When is Uncle Henry coming back? I don't know. But we surrendered. We did. Look, Dad won't talk about it. Maybe they drafted him. Can they do that? Who's going to stop them? I can't hear you. The Germans can do whatever they want until someone stops them. The Russians, for example. So why... So... So, so when is he... So when is he coming back? Poor Percy. I don't know, Percy. I don't know. The Germans, they don't explain things. They just give orders. Why? Well, because... Because I don't know why, I'm sort of worried that he might have volunteered. I don't understand. That's probably for the best. Poor Percy. Percy doesn't really seem to understand much. Percy's definitely a little bit slow. I mean, Arthur admitted that himself, right? Maybe it's the rain effects that are lagging me out. Okay, we're definitely climbing in a window here. Somehow people never notice Arthur when he's sitting down, unless they've already engaged him. Okay. What is this? Malarkey. Alright, I feel like I'm going to have to mess with that. Some sort of electronics. Zoom around here. And we're in, Arthur. 
cloth scrap, metal bits, and nothing else. Okay, so, any tips here? High voltage? If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Are we overweight? We're overburdened? No. How much by? One. Okay, we're still hungry, so let's eat some stew. And I don't want to eat rotten potato. Freaking ever. So let's drop. Yep, drop that whole stack. All right, there we go. We've got space. I don't know what to do here. Do this one? Seems fairly self explanatory. All right, power is booted up. Sweet. So, what else have we got here? All right, this open. I mean, I know the other door's open, other windows open, but we've got like 10 Jimmy bars, and I assume that they are actually going to weigh me down, so. Happy to oh, use them up as we go. Why are there cables coming out of that painting? Why does that bookshelf look like it doesn't quite fit? I wonder if it's some sort of secret door. Oh shit! I think you're onto something there, Arthur. I can slide that. Let's check over here. Nothing in the counter. Cloth strap in the toilet. Okay, amazing. All right, well, I wonder if it's behind the painting. It's powered by that switch in the other room. Oh God, what does this say? Enjoy my little puzzle. Silly, I know, but it keeps the plagues out. Choose a symbol for each button. Check with the lever. If you get it wrong three times, the puzzle resets. Choose a symbol for each button. Check with the lever. What? Check code. What in the goddamn hell is going on? Okay. Beep. Oh my god, I don't know what the hell's going on. What? Alright, let's read that again. Apparently I'm an idiot. Choose a symbol for each button. Check with the lever. If you get it wrong three times, the puzzle resets. Okay, star, circle, there. Two right. Shit. Oh my word. Okay, two right. Three right? Alright, that's gonna be it. Good job, Henry! Alright, that was actually a little bit harder than I thought. Enter the hatch. Oh, we're going down to a new save point. Do not open. Authorized personnel only. Ha, we'll see about that. Mmm, a new underground layer. And a new vending machine. What do we have in here? <laughs> My god, so much stuff, and we've actually got some decent money, which is kind of... a Just dream? Looking. Just looking for now. Right, what are we doing here? Secure area. I mean, there's bad people down here? Blueprint darts. Blueprint proper shoes. Hold free, upgrade mechanical... Right, we can't do that. And I've got no idea what this lever said. Is this turning the power on? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, blueprint the help. Head knocker. So what can we make here? The help. Oh, this will put them to sleep. So we've got one of them, one of them, one of them, one of them. When you want someone to lie down but not forever. Inflects light, non-lethal damage. Hmm. Make a head knocker? Basic mechanical crafting station. So I make a head knocker here? Yes. Nice, that'll be good for knocking people out. Alright, so I guess we can make a... The help. Coarse linen. Screw it. I did it. Oh, and I can... you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. Oh god, Arthur, we're too heavy. Right, I need to find my pneumatic safe. If there is one down here, there it is. So we can put all of our stuff away because I'm waddling here. Very slowly. Open pneumatic stash. Right, we want to put all the crafting materials in here. Stash has unlimited storage. Well, why can't I... Oh my god, I gotta do this all manually. Up. 
Place all crafting components. Okay. Man, I've got a lot of shovels as well. Let's put some of these crap weapons in there. Because those are really going to weigh me down. And we've got... Still way too many. Rusty shovel. We don't need three cricket bats. That seems a little bit extreme. We don't need six jimmy bars either. All right. There we go. Now I can move around happily. All right, let's pick the lock on this desk. And we need to... I don't know. I guess I could save down here, right? An empty desk. Who are you, lady? To Miss Misty. Remember who you are. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So what other mysteries do we have here? Can we enable this? Aha! I can come back here with the minimum of fuss. So now we can teleport back up to our old home. And the... Oh my god, the map is so big. I'm thrilled to try and explore this. Alright, so we don't really want to go anywhere from here, though. Right, meet... Uh, cross the Inkelman Bridge and meet Ollie. Is there any more stuff I can pick up here? There is not. Okay, nice. I feel like we did a good job here, Arthur. Let's crack on and get out of here. Crack on, Arthur. I should probably have slept, actually. Shit. Let's go and do that. And let's also save, because you've got to manually save in this. If I didn't save, I'd be in a huge spot of bother. Alright, let's sleep. What time is it now? What time is it now? 8am. Well, that's not really appropriate time to sleep, is it? But if I slept till then... Let's it's do it. It's been a hard day's night, that It's been was. a hard day, Arthur. You're well rested, you fight better now. Okay, alright, cool. Well, that seems very, very useful. Oh! There's a power cell. I cannot steal the power, power cell? That's bullshit. And who are you saying that to, Arthur? There's no one there. It's a goddamn robot machine. It's a vending machine. Okay, right. So. We found ourselves a new home. Ah, and look at all the lovely people out. Are these people going to be my friends? Good day to you, sir. It's been a while, hasn't it? At least you can drink from the pumps here. Good. Lovely day At for least it. We have our memories, right? It's hard when you can't trust your own memory, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it does sound very hard. And look at all the healing balm we could make with all these beautiful roses. Okay, I think I'm gonna like this district. This district seems fantastic. Okay, so what do we got to do here? Well, we've got a restaurant. That's the restaurant where we rescued the person. Okay. Right, well, let's take a little bit of a wander here. Hello. It's hard when you can't trust your own memory, isn't it? Mmm. I guess it is. All right, lovely. Let's check in the post box. No mail for me today. Ah. At least there are flowers out here. Sometimes you just have to eat rotten things. If you say so. It's life, isn't it? If you say so. Petula Pickles. What a lovely name. All right, so... I'm guessing there's a bridge up here. Let's go and investigate that. Hello, everyone. Life is shit. Life is shit, and we're all downers. We're all off our joy. Before he was uncle So all of these people were taking the mandatory joy pills that the government makes us take, and they start to have an allergic reaction to them. Uh, apparently, actually from what we've read so far, from just a bad batch of joy, and it drove them insane. And once they have gone insane, they are no longer able to eat the joy and to get effects from it. So they're no longer able to just be happy people and they're forced to be wastrels and downers and they're over here in this part of town where they've been completely uh, just exiled uh, to just live out their lives and die. October 8th. Dear committee members, it's a lovely day for it. We are ransacking the last of the old Victory Gardens. There might be enough potatoes in the entire garden district to last two weeks. Do you plan to starve us all to death? If you have no food to spare, could you at least open the bridge so we can try our luck in the wilderness? I'd rather die by a bandit's heart hand than starve. It's so much more glamorous. Your former neighbors, Colin, Elliot, and Chris. Oh, what is this? It's a gigantic heart. This looks actually quite welcoming. All those years on joy. We'll never get them back, will we? No, you will not, Arthur. No, you will not. Right, so what do we have here? A jam door? It's a Bobby, Constable Wright. Looking to return to the village, are you, sir? That's yes. Right. I realise it was a mistake not to take my joy, and I'd like to rejoin civilization. Well, sir, 
You have come to the opposite place, but I'm afraid it is not the opposite time. The door goes in and out of operation, and at the moment, it's out. Should I wait? Not unless you're getting paid by the week like I am, sir. <gasps> oh, honestly, sir. It was open for a bit just a little while ago. But before that, it might have been days when it was closed. Mechanical things. I ain't holding up like they used to. Great. Great. So come back here in minimum a couple of days. Anyway, we can go down here. A sneaky way up. No. All right, okay, well, I guess that's him saying that we're trapped here on this island. So let's go and do some exploration. There's got to be loads of stuff. And we've got to go and also help out Ollie and go and distract all the people in the German camp. I'm honestly confused as to what that is actually going to be. But let's go freaking find out. Arthur, it's been a pleasure serving with you so far. Hopefully, we can shoot off into the future and just do amazing things together. Okay. Right, I'm looking for any sort of special interesting encounters out here. Something that looks a little bit different, little special buildings. I've got to say, the foliage and everything out here is absolutely stunning, though. The Garden District is actually pretty damn nice. Don't know why anyone wouldn't want to live here. They all choose to live in the Parade District, but as far as I'm concerned, this is just glorious. If only it wasn't for all the people with bats that are trying to kill me, then I think this would actually be paradise. Give me more rows of gillies. Okay. So cross the bridge and meet Ollie, which is going to be down here. I suppose I should probably explore the rest. There's a big island over there. I should probably explore the rest of this island first before we go anywhere else, just to make sure. Oh, there we go. Just to make sure that we've. My God, got enough roses. I'm going to be able to heal myself for days after this. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a supreme executive power must. Do Wait, Derek? Is Derek a woman's name? Maybe it is in this world. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, it doesn't kill you. Okay, and we've got a road here that's heading off into the southeast. There's got to be some stuff to do in this town. With all these people around. Where do they sleep? Where do they go? All right, let's go down here. So let's see. Ollie's mission is... That way. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'll lead the follow the road. How do you do, everyone? Horrible day for it. God, I'm feeling terrible without my joy. Am I right? At least we're alive. Yeah, right. at least we're alive, though. I'm not going to open your box, lady. Calm down. Calm down, no matter how much you pay me. Okay, this is a big one. This looks like a big town here. All right, cool. All right, let's go explore. Lovely day for it, Sir John Kurt. Wait, sir? Have oh, since sleeping, all right? It's strange. There's things here you could never find in Hamlin Village. Yeah, like rows of Gilead. Teddy bear. I can't pick up the teddy bear. It's a bit of a rip-off. Maybe we'd find a child. Well, actually, it seems very unlikely that we're going to find any children. What was that? So that was a mini loading screen? Please stop crying. Hello? This is for the benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit got into the garden. The rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. The rabbit got into the garden. Well, we're in the Garden District. Am I the rabbit? Someone's here, at least. Crack this open. 20 sovereigns. My goodness. All right, we're just going to be absolutely loaded. What have we got here? An abandoned house. Hello there, friends. What the hell is this? Lots of rotten Who shit. There's a chest in the middle of nowhere. Investigate the curious chest. chest. Apparently. They seem to put their sacrifices here. Place your daily sacrifice here. Do not steal the sacrifices within unless you really want to piss off a witch. Circle of Hecate. Let's read this. Danu, dear Matrona, forgive me for this prayer. Forgive me for the rue. Forgive me for the penny royal. Forgive me for the verain and the mugwort. Take the gift you have given me. Let me be sick. Let my sickness take your gift from me. Forgive me. I pray you. 
This seems a little bit ominous. Are we going to crack this open? I don't really want to piss off a witch. All right, let's check it out at least. Oh, God. They see me opening this up. Oh! Oh, Jesus. All right, then. All right, then, lady. Oh, my God. This one shots them? Fucking hell, this is a strong weapon. Look, I don't even want to be here. Cure food poisoning with sick up tea or nexamide. Right, I did actually pick up some sick up tea. Sick up tea. That just sounds grotesque. Uh, medical, maybe? Sick up tea. Cues food poisoning. All right. There we go. <laughs> oh, Arthur. Get it all out, friend. Get it all out. Is there nothing in here? Wow. Amazing. Do I need more sick up tea? Okay, we did. Yep, have a nice little have a nice little vom there. Absolutely gross. Alright, put the weapon away. Oh, I didn't I didn't kill these people. La la la, off we go on our beautiful merry way. <laughs> 